Hello, um, and welcome back to another M40 Militaria video. Um, today we'll be discussing, or not discussing, but reviewing the M43 German field cap. Uh, this is a repo, a reproduction, because the real ones are getting increasingly hard to find. Uh, but this one was uh, made by Epic Militaria. Epic Militaria is probably my favourite collecting a military surplus uh, company based in England. Um, I got some more stuff coming, so stay tuned on the channel. I got some East German stuff because I'm building an East German uniform at the moment. Um, but this, really nice and comfy. Um, I think it's, it's pretty accurate to what it, it actually is. There is some deformation kind of things, but that's just because of how it was packed. Like the back is slightly folded, and this cap, this the cap slightly off down to the left. But you know, it's not going to be perfect. Um, but for the most part, really comfy. I think it's made up like a wool or cotton, probably cotton. Um, it it doesn't really keep off the ring; it more absorbs it. Which is isn't great, but I know they use these in like Stalingrad and all these cold conditions in Russia. And you know, if it is as windy as I think it is, you might not be able to hear me. And if so, this will be just some shots of me wearing it, and um, I'll talk to you about what I'm talking about now inside. But besides that, um, I think it's really good. I really like it. I mean, if it wasn't associated with Nazism or the Nazis, I probably would wear it in a day-to-day -day basis. But it is so, you know, um, I don't feel comfortable wearing stuff like that out in public. But, yep, so I'll get some inside shots for you. The, the all-around 360 on the inside, I'll show you the markings and stuff, and we'll go inside and talk a bit about its history. These are based on the German ski cap. I don't can pronounce the actual words in front of that, but it's based on a ski cap. It's made out of about 80% wool. Um, the little bit at the top here, this uh, whatever this is called, is um, got a piece of reinforced cardboard. The, some of the history behind it is I know that it was widely used when the troops weren't on the front lines. They would wear these instead of the Stahlhelms, which is what I've got back there. They are very comfy, they're very warm when you're wearing one. Uh, this is just a reproduction. It is so accurate that you probably couldn't tell the difference between a real one apart from maybe some weathering. But yeah, so um, it's got all the markings and stuff on the inside and this is from Epic Militaria, my favourite um, military surplus uh, company. Um, definitely check them out. I mean, I'm not sponsored by them, but go and check them out. They've got some really nice stuff. You've already seen a clip of the um, of it and probably a cat comparison because I like doing those. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you leave a like, if you subscribe and share. I mean, I'd love it if I could actually do this. Um, if I could do this and have a bigger audience that I can actually talk to and interact with in the comments and things like that. Um, because, you know, I've only, I'm really kind of new to this whole collecting thing, so if I've got like experienced people in the comments and I can actually ask them questions about stuff um, and what you guys would like to see next. Um, but apart from that, see you guys in the next one. Take care.